The problem is I still call myself a woman. And every time the word slips from my mouth, it feels like a bar of soap slipping through my fingers. Hi, my name's Jack and I'm transgender. Now, let me take a guess at some of the thoughts that are probably running through your head right now. I knew as soon as Miss Hansen said, boys on that side of the gym, girls on that side. And I knew that Eddie would be like, Mari, you go on that side cause you a dyke. Which is stupid because dyke means lesbians and lesbians are girls. And I'm just trying to ignore him. And play us like pawns and relentlessly confined and living up to gender roles and having absent minds. I call myself a woman and it feels like an accident. Like a six car pile up right outside city limits. Like you were so close to home. You were so close. Like you could have been exactly what they wanted you to be when the doctor held you up and they wrapped you in a pink blanket and they said, girl, you were so happy. When you first saw me, whether or not you realized it, you probably thought, oh, she's a girl. And I don't think you did realize it. In fact, I don't even think you did this intentionally because in our society, we have a t tendency to put people inside the gender binary, male or female. But I, like hundreds of thousands of other teens, kids and adults, don't fit into the gender binary. For instance, I am gender fluid, which means on any given day, my gender will go, no, you're the other one. And yeah, it makes packing for vacations really difficult, but that's a small scale problem. And I, as well as hundreds of thousands other, of other people under the non-binary umbrella, deal with much bigger issues because these gender roles force us out of ourselves. They force us into roles and into being people who we aren't. So a program, because the reinforcement of these outdated gender norms is hurting our society more than it has ever helped it. Transgender, wait, does that actually mean they're a man or actually a woman? Oh, hey, my daughter's friend is transgender. I wonder if they know each other. All right, let's stop with the hypotheticals. Don't get me wrong, I did come here today to share my personal experience with being trans, but that doesn't mean I woke up this morning wanting to tell an entire audience what we're working with below the belt. And then Miss Hansen is like, that's inappropriate, Eddie. And like, you can't say those things about people. And I'm just like, please shut up. Please stop calling attention to me. And everyone is looking at me. The problem is my gender is a language I cannot speak yet. I think of how many things I would be willing to give up so that I could look so long and so flat, so sharp and so boy. And not just because my gender mismatches the one I was assigned at birth. Being trans is awkward because everyone else is awkward when they're around me. People who support me wholeheartedly and all other trans people are often so scared not to know something they don't know, so afraid to be wrong. They never ask, hush boy, oh hush boy, don't say a word, throw on the jersey and no one gets hurt. But my curves are not something I am ready to be divorced of yet. I look down at my body and I think, girl, I think, girl, I think. So I pushed him to make it be over, you know? I didn't want to hurt him. Oh my God, if I had wanted to hurt him, he would be hurt. 
but then Eddie starts crying and everyone is staring at me and I can hear what they're thinking, but that's not me. When I came out to my dad, to my great relief, he was totally cool with me being trans. But as soon as I started mentioning physical transitioning, he freaked. And I quickly realized that this is because he, like lots of people, thought physical transitioning meant just one thing, the surgery. Gender roles impose control and deceive progressive times. Welcome to the land of the broken mind. Girl, you have been unwanted in so many hands and I cannot turn traitor to my own powder pink. I cannot bleed the woman out of my lungs. I have tried. And she does not go easy. Instead, I wear woman like a coat, two sizes too small. It doesn't fit anymore, but it smells like home. What do you do when you're given a choice between two costumes and neither of them has enough? elbow room. Now listen, if there was one magical surgery that could turn me into the strong, societally perfect image of a man overnight, I would sign up in a heartbeat. But unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because they're expensive. And health insurance is only just beginning to cover them. Instead, the first step for a trans person seeking physical transition is usually hormone replacement therapy. So why does everyone keep staring at me and calling me boy names? And like, I don't even look at people anymore because I'm too afraid they'll see and they'll know. I don't want to be picked on or picked out or picked for anything. I just want to be left alone. Just leave me alone. Hush girl, oh hush girl. Just bat your eyes and play our little game. What do you do when the word woman is the only one that shares all of the violence that has been done to you for daring to look so sweet? Play our little game. There's no distinct point in a phys trans person's physical transition at which they become their true gender. As soon as they give you their new name and pronouns, that's when you start using them. Play our little game. What do you do when the word woman isn't wrong? It's just not the whole story. And you don't have a word for that story. The truth is we trans people are way more scared of you than you are of us. Because being trans means a daily onslaught of these myths and misconceptions. And I've got it pretty easy. I'm a white, able-bodied guy sitting nearly at the peak of privilege. For trans women, for trans people of color, for non-binary people, it is so much harder. Play our little game. So that's why I pushed him to make it be over, you know? So can I please just get in trouble and then it's, it's just over, it's over. I just want it to be over. Please, please just make it be over. Please play our little game. I hope that someday when I say, hi, I'm Jack and I'm transgender, the only response I get in return is, hi, nice to meet you. Play our little game, won't you play with me? At the end of the day, I have no quarrel with my body. Only the things everyone else seems to assign to it. Only these words that feel so useless up against the person I have worked so hard to love. Only woman, ill-fitting as it sometimes is. What I want to know is, am I allowed to hold woman at arm's length and love it like it's my favorite dress? Am I allowed to put it down when it becomes too much to carry? Thank you.